जय श्री राम Nothing in this universe is not a part of Sanatana Dharma. In this channel, we'll be discussing about the various topics that relate both science and Sanatana Dharma, but not only that, also the things that are going to be discovered in the future. According to us in science, there is truly no inventions but only discoveries. Today's topic is based on time dilation. Since this topic is related to relativity theory, let's just have a quick look on what is relativity theory. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, if the speed of an object increases, time moves slower for it, and if the speed is slower, time moves faster. This idea can also be seen in Sanatana Dharma, in Brahma Loka and Swarga Loka, where the speed or vibrations is higher, time moves slower. but on earth where the movement or vibration is slower time moves faster so without any delay let's begin with the time dilation concept in sanatana dharma muchukunda a king who helped gods fight a war against demon he fought in swarga or heaven assisting gods after winning the battle muchukunda asked lord indra to send him back to earth Lord Indra then replied that the timing of earth and swarga is not the same. Indra said thousands of years would have passed in earth so there is no point of you going to earth. Your dynasty, your family and other belongings would have perished. After Muchukunda heard what Indra said, Muchukunda asked Indra to give him moksha or salvation. Then Lord Indra replied that He is not capable of giving salvation but instead of that he promised that he would give Muchukunda another boon after hearing this Muchukunda thought for a while and asked for another boon Muchukunda asked a boon from Lord Indra of eternal slumber he desired a state of undisturbed sleep where he could rest for eternity and he had it a condition that anyone who dared to wake him would be immediately reduced to ashes by his gaze lord indra also accepted to give this boon one day a demon called kala yavana with his yavanas or soldiers came to do war against lord krishna and to invade mathura in the war when lord krishna and kala yavana were fighting Kala Yavana was led inside the cave by Lord Krishna and this cave is nothing but the cave in which Muchukunda was sleeping In an urgency to war Kala Yavana thought Muchukunda to be Lord Krishna and kicked him Muchukunda woke up because of this Kala Yavana became into ashes according to the boon given by Lord Indra This story is mentioned in Mahabharata. Now it is the time to hear another time dilation concept in our Sanatana Dharma. This story initially starts with a king of Kushastali named Kakudami. He had a daughter called Revati and Kakudami wanted to get her married. So he thought to go to Brahmaloka to find a nice husband for her daughter Revati. King Kakudami wanted to go to Brahma Loka because his daughter Revati was so beautiful and accomplished that he could not find a suitable husband for her. After deciding this, King Kakudami with his daughter went to Brahma Loka. After going to Brahma Loka, King Kakudami had to wait for Lord Brahma who was engrossed in musical performance. After Lord Brahma saw King Kakudami He has what made King Kakudami to come here. King Kakudami replied to Lord Brahma that he has come here to select a nice husband for his daughter from the list of men. After listening to this, Lord Brahma said that by the time you are here, 116.64 million years would have passed on earth. Due to this, the men on the list will have died and your kingdom would have perished. After hearing this King Kakudami asked Lord Brahma what he should do Lord Brahma replied that Dwapara Yuga was now the age on earth and that his daughter should be married to Lord Balarama who is the elder brother of Lord Krishna After hearing this 
King Kakudami went to earth and saw Lord Balarama who was not even half the height of his daughter because as we know as the height of the people constantly decreases in each yuga and this made King Kakudami to feel a bit uncomfortable seeing this Lord Balarama used his plow to turn Revati into the actual height of the people who lived at that time and at the last they were married to each other this story is mentioned in mahabharata and the vishnu purana the time dilation concept is also mentioned in bhagavad gita in chapter 8 shloka 17 the shloka is sahasra yuga paryantam aharyat brahmano viduh ratram yuga sahasrantam te ho ratra vido janah The meaning is one day of Brahma lasts a thousand cycle of the four ages and this night also extends for the same span of time the wise who knows this understand the reality about day and night in a simple way thousands of time of the four yuga cycle is one day of Brahma which is called as the kalpa and the same duration is at night like this 100 years passes in brahma loka after which the life of lord brahma and that particular universe will end and in the same way different brahmas and different universes of that particular brahma will have different time variations this proves that there are many universes according to sanatana dharma about which the scientists are still looking out for and each of these universes will have difference in time this multi universe concept is also mentioned in the mahabharata once lord brahma became prideful of himself seeing this lord krishna summoned all the brahmas from different universes and said you are only the brahma of this universe but not of all universes there are many other brahmas for those universes some might be powerful than you while others may not be some preside over larger universes than yours while others govern smaller ones upon witnessing this all pride associated with lord brahma was diminished so from the above mentioned stories we can understand that this time dilation concept is already mentioned in our sanatana dharma even before scientists like einstein could come and find what is time dilation and what is relativity theory so, so the, the video, video comes, comes to an end thank you for watching like share and subscribe our channel Arushi and Pragadeesh signing off Jai Shri Ram